Hello, welcome to the Rich and Simple Living. I'm Maria. If you're new here, then my channel's about homeschooling, home um, studying, and a bit of home life. So, a bit of all sorts, really. So, yeah, today we're going to be talking about homeschooling because I'm going to show you a new maths book that I've got for Sean. We're going to use this maths book in key stage four years which is the year she's coming up to she's key stage three at the minute i have to think because when you're homeschooling you lose track of what years that they're equivalent to so at the moment in the uk she's a year nine and we'll be going up to year 10 in september well years 10 and 11 are their gcse years and it's also known as key stage four years so i've got a new maths book now if you're new and you don't know much about um, us doing maths, well, Sean with maths, she's not so good at maths. She doesn't really like maths. She's never taken to it very well. Um, they did think, because she went to primary school, they did think that she'd got something called, now I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, dyscalculia. That might be how you say it. That's how it's spelt. And it's like, um, you know, how you get the word blindness, letter blindness. It's like a number blindness. It's the equivalent sort of thing. And you with numbers. And they think she had like a number blindness. So she can do so much. And there's a bit like a block there then. But they never did the test. They told me they were going to do tests. And they never did the test. So we never knew for sure whether she actually has or hasn't. But anyway, as it sounds, Sean doesn't like maths only wants to do the basis and that's okay by me because that's all you need to get by as long as you've got what you need to get by in life when you're grown up to pay bills to go shopping such and such you know that's the most important thing those life skill ones that you need so we've just been doing easy maths i stripped her back with the maths to um like nine ten years of age maths basic maths and been bringing her back up that way another thing she didn't know was how to tell the time on an analog clock she could do digital but not analog but now she can so we've just been bringing her up slowly at her own pace that way and just doing what she needs to do for her future so anyway with that in mind and thinking about her future and having to pay bills and you know buy things when she's older because that's what we all have to do and that's one of the main things in life when it comes to maths i came across this book i call them blue maths books but they're actually humble math and i came across this and i thought oh that sounds really good 100 days of money maths and financial literacy and i thought that sounds good and i was a bit like Will it be too difficult for her to grasp, but she, you know, she has got to learn to do it? Or would it be quite straightforward? Because you never know when you can't pick a book up, because it was Amazon I got it from. So if you can't pick a book up and flick through, you can't decide, is it sort of too complicated? Because some things are overcomplicated and they don't need to be that way. And it puts, you know, the students off more then. So I wasn't sure. Anyway, I thought, it was about four pounds, five pounds. I thought I'll order it and I'll risk it and we'll see what happens. So I did. And you know, I'm quite impressed. I'm going to swing you around and just show you a couple of pages. And I am quite impressed with it. So I'll just give you a look. So we've swung you around and you've seen the title. So we'll have a look um, inside. So we've got the sections. So it's got bunny basics. Then about earning money, lessons and word problems. Spending and managing money. So making change, subscriptions, budgeting. So that's an important one is learning to budget. Then we've got sales, discounts and taxes, percentages. So we've got decimals, percentages and fractions, multiplying decimals, sales and discounts, sales tax, tipping and estimation, finding better values and saving money, bulk discounts and bulk pricing. Now that sounds a bit um, sort of boggling, boggy down a bit, but we'll see how we go with it as she goes through it. Then we go on to banking, savings, loans and interest, single year interest, multiple year interest, compounding and simple interest, simple interest formulas, compounding interest formulas then on to credit types of debit credit scores and credit cards well, let's just try and keep her away from credit 
but um, all things to learn about. Term loans and mortgages, we've got minimum payments, term loans and interest, down payments, early payments, then saving and investing, retirement, types of investments, inflation, real assets, cryptocurrencies and intellectual property. Then business basics and giving. And it does have answers at the back, which is good. <laughs> so I'll just show you a few pages how it starts off. So bring it across for it. So it just starts off quite basic, really, like some money things. She's been doing a book with all money and whatnot in it. So that will look familiar to her. And then um, here, got money arithmetic. She gets a bit confused sometimes, like with the decimal points, where they go. But um, we're working on that. Then, earning money as a kid. So that's what she's going to want to do then. <laughs> but they're like problem-solving ones, you know. You can see what they say. She's got a book full of questions like that that we're about to start work on as well. So that will be very familiar to her. Uh, earning money as a teenager. How much do adults work? I think that says that's too much. <laughs> but I don't think she'd get away with saying that. <laughs> then tell us about full-time, part-time. So yeah, it sort of goes on like that. Cost of education, education supply and demand and they're all sort of nice easy questions like problem puzzles to solve type questions oh that sounds good how to make millions see if i've had this book sooner might have been a millionaire by now <laughs> or billions oh my word <laughs> But yeah, it's really good. It's quite simple to do. Even got a demonstration there on doing things. So it starts off really basic and sort of works its way up to get a bit meatier. So we're going to subscri subscription, budgeting. Um decimals percentages and fractions see percentages is something that i could do with a learning more of because that's something i just do in my head and you know it's worth sitting down with her and doing so that they just jump into her head even if it's just your main percentages but sales talks about sales and sales taxes so it does get meatier as it goes in and talks about how to estimate a 15% tip. So I'm not sure how we'll get on with this book. It looks okay, but we'll work through it slowly. So yeah. I said they're calculating the difference in earnings. Interests. Um, interest rates but you see all that is a bit like doing business maths it's a bit like when I have to do up my husband's books and we're coming up to that time of year as well <laughs> and that's all very similar working out so yeah it goes in loans and you know then retirement I've already Sort of said what it covers but stocks and liquid liquidity gosh i can't say that word <laughs> stock markets so yeah it goes on and on through things like that and then at the back well somewhere at the back the answers are at the back so it tells you there like your main concepts financial lessons when to use a calculator
so yeah i mean even like using the calculator like sometimes you'll say i can't use the calculator i shouldn't use the calculator and so no it's good to learn to do things but there's no wrongs you know no rights or wrongs with calculators um nothing wrong with using one like if you work in a shop and you're on a till and you're doing the things that's doing it for you you're not had, adding it up there and then for them the till does it for you you know, there's a lot of scenarios and the same in the bank when they're taking in money and they're adding up all the checks. They're doing it all on a calculator as you're giving it them and they're putting it through this thing and they're adding it up on a calculator. So you don't have to do it all in your head. It's good to learn it in your head. But if you can just grasp some of it the rough idea of it in your head and the rest is on the calculator there's no harm in that that's fine i mean like i just say lots of places use calculators people just don't add up in their head like they used to you know i'm well saying that when i was young i remember I used to go to the shops with my mum and they used to have pads of paper there and as they were buying stuff they were writing it down and adding it up by hand on pieces of paper because they didn't have the electronic tills then gosh that makes me sound old doesn't it <laughs> but when i was a child that's how the local shops did it they just had pads of paper and they were adding it up like that and mothers and that they knew roughly what the shopping was going to come to. They'd got shopping lists and then they went out with shopping lists and you know how much things were and they'd got an idea exactly how much it's going to cost. So if they added it up wrong, they would challenge it and say, well, actually, I get it to such and such. So that's how it used to work. So I say to Sean, you know, we can use calculator. We'll learn to use calculator work as well because that's how life is now. It does it all electronically for you. You haven't got to know everything. As long as you know how the concept works, then, so if you had to work it out, you could because you knew the concept. But other than that, I think the calculator's fine. I wouldn't worry about using the calculator at all. So yeah, but as for this book, it does look good. It looks a great introduction to everything that I wanted to know. Um, how easy she'll find out, don't know, some things might be easy, some things might be harder, we'll see how it goes, but um, I thought that was quite good, we can do this for, you know, from September for a uh, year 10, <laughs> from year 10 upwards, to get her an idea of, um, you know, maths, she's got to have real life things, <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'd show you that this week, they do some really good books, these um, blue maths I call them, but humble maths, I'm not sure if all the ones I had were humble maths, or some were blue maths, that's where I've got the idea from, but we have loads and loads of these books, I mean, I, those who've been following me for a while with homeschooling have seen quite a few of these books, she's a bit high up today, don't I, yeah, they'll have seen quite a few of these books that I've um, been using, and uh, they're really good. They are really good. Great workbooks and answers in the back. And they are really good. So I do um, recommend them if anybody wants to use them. But we've got another one start at the moment. And like I said, that was like a puzzle one, you know, where so-and-so buys such and such for such and such price. And somebody else come along and buys something else such and such price. And, you know, how much was the difference and all that sort of thing we've got a book full of things like that at the moment and that's another humble math book one of these blue ones so we're going to start work on that we were just finishing off the ones we'd got so by the time um, september comes around all of the books will be finished and we're going to solely concentrate on that one and i'm going to keep throwing times tables in as well because that's something good you know to have in your head to try and memorize and bring up in your head because how many times you've got to work out something you know how many times this by that is good to know so i'm going to keep chucking them in as well periodically go through the times tables as well on top of all of that so yeah that's what we're going to be doing in september but i thought it was really good and i wanted to show it you you know we'll let you know come september when we start it how we're doing with it and you know with it's working how whether it's any good or not but then again you see it's all right me saying oh well it's good might not be so good for somebody else or on me saying oh well actually she's not getting on with it it doesn't mean to say that your child won't get on with it that it might be just what they need you know so i think it's good just to show you and you can see what the books will look like but at the same time i can tell you how it is going anyway 
it's always nice to know how it's going for other people. I like to hear how you're all homeschooling and, you know, what you're using, what you're doing and things like that. It's good, you know, supporting each other in a way, isn't it? It's good. So that's that for homeschooling for this week. Um, now we'll come back again later this week and I'm going to have another go with the air fryer. I've got a couple of ideas in my head what I want to try with it, but I can't find no recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so this might be a Maria disaster. <laughs> I know how to cook certain things, well, all things in the oven, but I'm wondering about transferring it and doing it into the air fryer because that's the idea of having the air fryer, isn't it? To cook things, to save time on the oven because it's supposed to cook in less time, therefore saving money. So I don't know. I've got a few ideas and... Um, I'm going to see which one I'm going to do. I might just have a Google around, see if I can get any idea of like cooking times and things like that for these ideas and see which I can do. But I won't tell you because I might change my mind over what I do. So yeah, we'll definitely come back with an air fryer um, video. <laughs> on uh, it'd be Wednesday or Thursday one of the it might be Thursday actually because Wednesdays we're doing shopping and it's a bit of a rush anyway so it might be Thursday when I do it so yeah I will see you then <laughs> if you follow me then like to see what I do with the air fryer I will see you on probably Thursday I will say Thursday we'll go for Thursday so I'll see you on Thursday and then next week Monday or Tuesday we'll be back to uh, homeschool vlog so if you only watch for the homeschool I'll see you next Monday or Tuesday and if you want to follow along and see what I do in the air fryer and you watch me for everything then I'll see you on Thursday so until then take care of yourselves bye